We want to return now to that extreme weather impacting millions this weekend. Tonight, farmers fighting to save their crops after the deep freeze all the way down in Florida. The bitter cold, only the latest in a series of challenges citrus farmers have had there over the last few years. Kerry Sanders has more. In the battle to save Florida's crops from the freezing cold, some farmers this week launched an aerial assault, deployed more than two dozen helicopters. Helicopter is trying to push warmer air down on the crops to try to save it. Sometimes it works, and but sometimes it don't. Just about two years ago, these same farmers plowed under abundant crops as the pandemic broke supply lines, costing them millions, and the hits keep coming. Our fuel costs are double, our fertilizer costs are 65% higher, and now we're facing the freeze. You know. Florida citrus growers desperate to save their fruit have iced it over, locking it in at 32 degrees as ambient temperatures drop even lower. See, that's actually freezing it. We've had three, uh, three days of freezes, and this is some damage from that. Florida is on pace to produce the smallest crop of oranges since World War II. Larry Black's family began citrus farming in the 1800s, is the freeze that you just had, is that the biggest problem? Uh, no, the biggest issue is citrus greening. To the trained eye, those specks on the leaves are evidence of the widespread devastating bacterial disease. And when a tree is hit with that disease, it drops its fruit early, upwards of 40%. That is a complete loss. We've been dealing with the disease for about 15 years, citrus greening. Uh, this is before the freeze, was going to be uh, the smallest crop since the 1940s. With the freeze, the price of some fruits and vegetables will now rise at the grocery store as farmers across the state scramble to harvest what survived. Is there an insurance to cover you if this is a loss? Absolutely none. So you really do have a gambler's crop here? I got a gambler's crop, but like I say, 48 years, I'm still at it. <laughs> well, good deal. Delicious. Thank you. Thank you. That's what we're growing for. Strawberries begin as a bloom, and 21 days later, you get this. Perfectly timed for Valentine's Day. Gabe? Carrie Sanders in Florida. Carrie, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.